What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is the day we're finally going to be upgrading the solar panels on the 6000 XP. If you don't know the story on these, I've basically repurposed the solar panels on my pergola I used to use for the EG4 solar hybrid heat pump and they are now running the 6000 XP. So they're super underpowered. They're only uh, about a 1250 watt array. They've been doing pretty good for the, uh, the old panels that they are, but the time has finally come to upgrade. So we just got a skid in from Signature Solar. These are the new Sirius PV 400 115 watt bifacial panels with uh, a maximum of 539 watts using the back side of the panel so these guys just made a couple thousand mile journey up here to Ontario Canada I'm gonna get these cut open and we are gonna take a quick look at them and then we'll put them up on the pergola get this thing charging a little more effectively okay here we are all unpacked I'm happy to say everything made the trip in one piece we've got no damage everything looks great the guys at Signature Solar definitely know how to pack these for a long trip so like I said, these are from Sirius PV. These are Texas assembled panels uh, right out of the USA. These are a 415 nominal watt panel with a max of 539 watts with the bifacial. So you can see we've got the two separate MC4s on opposite sides like we're used to seeing on most new panels these days. They also included some caps on the MC4s, which is nice. Keeps the moisture out of them. I haven't seen that before. Down here we have the rating plate. So we've got a uh, maximum of 415 watts, VOC of 41.3, short circuit current 13.76, couple other specs there for you. But yeah, like I said, this is the back of the panel. Everything looks really nice, nice construction. Got the black frames. Over here I have one forward facing so you can take a look at the individual cells. Yeah, overall, looks like a nice panel, good construction. So I'm gonna get these dragged around the back. We're losing daylight here, but I'll get them all set up for the morning and then we'll get these things popped up onto the pergola. Okay, it's go time. I've got the supervisor out here watching me once again. Got the panels and the wood all stacked up, ready to go. So I guess we're gonna start by taking down the old panels. These are the 225 watt Canadian solar panels I've been using. Picked these up used a couple of years ago. They worked great, but they're overdue to be replaced. As you can see, the vinyl back sheets are all cracked. The weather has kind of taken a toll on them, but they've worked good. It's just time for an upgrade. We're gonna double up the power. I've got the wiring moved here. Uh, so far I've got the disconnect ran. There's no wire inside the bottom half of this conduit But the plan for right now is to go down underneath the deck across the deck to the side of the house and then up into the attic I think it's gonna be a little bit better than running it around the side of the house down uh, towards the garage and conduit But we will uh, get started with the panels so the plan is just a really simple 2x4 frame. This is how they are going to lay on the 2x4s and that's about the angle they're gonna sit at. They are 12 foot 2x4s with a one foot rise. So that's about a five degree angle and they're all gonna clamp on these little mini rails from Signature Solar. I'll show you those in a second here. But uh, yeah, this is kind of the general layout. I'm just gonna have two runs of three for six panels, 2400 watts. And uh, yeah, get them up just a bit of an angle, not too high that it's an eyesore or a big sail in the wind, but just high enough the water runs off the snow can melt off them and uh, gives us a little bit more angle towards the sun so like I said these are the mini rails they're about 13 inches long they just go kind of at the joints of the panel they don't run the full length of the 2x4 but I'll get some wood up here and show you what I'm talking about so back when I installed these, I went with the real cheap, simple Amazon solar panel mounting brackets. You've probably seen these before, very generic, uh, easy setup, but we're going to be getting a little bit of an upgrade today with the mini rails and the clamps, make things easier to service and move around if we ever have to. So these are the mini rails. These are a 13 inch aluminum rail from Signature Solar. I'll put a link to them below. If you're doing kind of a DIY mount, it's definitely what I would recommend. They're really easy to work with. If you're not 100% sure which way you're gonna go, they're a nice simple mounting system. I'm cutting these ones in half with the bandsaw. Just for the ends, I don't quite have enough to do uh, what I wanna do, so I'm just chopping these ones in half. Okay, so the old panels are down. It's definitely been a day or two since I've seen this pergola all open to the air like that, but uh, this is basically what I'm talking about. This is how I'm gonna lay things out. These are all just spaced out for the length of the panels. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these all screwed down and then we'll get them lifted up on the pergola, get everything assembled and get to it. Okay, the rails are all secured. I'm just gonna be cutting four one foot chunks of this two by four with a bit of an angle on the end of them. I'm gonna be putting, like I said, a five degree angle uh, on the one end of the two by four, just so things line up square. 
So I'm gonna chop these up and then get everything lifted up on top of the pergola. These are just gonna screw down right to the ends of these little uh, two by four straps that go across the top. Everything lines up really good. They, those are 12 foot two by fours as well. So kind of worked out perfectly. Super simple system. If you have a pergola, it's a really good way to add solar uh, to your setup. Okay, the first section of the frame is up. That was uh, pretty straightforward, although it's getting super hot out here. The sun's out now, it's a pretty hot day, but everything went really smooth. I think that's gonna be the easy part. The uh, the hard part's gonna be getting these solar panels up here by myself. They're pretty heavy to lift up, you know, 12 feet in the air, but so far so good. I guess you guys probably have a better idea of what I was talking about now. There wasn't really anywhere up here to set up the tripod to uh, get a shot of that, but I'm sure you have a pretty good idea of what I'm working on now. Okay, the frame is complete. I've just added some little six inch two by fours to the middle just to support some of the weight. There is gonna be a good bit of weight up here with the two by fours. Once again, I have left the solar panels in direct sunlight all day long before handling them. So they're super hot, little tip for you. If you're gonna be handling panels, just put them in the shade. Don't put them in direct sunlight for several hours before you decide to pick them up. So I'm gonna get them loaded up and screwed down. And this is how the clamps sit in the mini rails. If you're not familiar with these, I just thought I would show you really quick. This is uh, the first run of clamps. I'm gonna get the panels set on here and then we're gonna work backwards. Okay, three panels down, three to go. These ones, unfortunately, were the easy ones. As I go further, they get higher and higher, so they will get a little more difficult to lift up over my head, but so far, so good. Everything lines up great. The panels are laid out according to polarity, positive to negative on the mc 4 so. Just three to go. It's getting super hot out here, but uh, yeah, three to go. All right, all six panels are up on top of the pergola. That was uh, a lot of work getting those up there. It's crazy hot out here now, but they look great. The backs of these panels are, I'm not sure what the material is. It's, it's like a glass type material, but they're very resilient. I had to sort of slide them over the mini rails and they got some sharp corners and they held up really well to the scratching. If these were like your normal vinyl back sheets, I think it would have torn the back sheet up pretty good. So uh, pretty solid construction on the serious panels. I have a bit of wiring to do. I don't think I'm going to get to that today. I'm kind of out of time and just out of energy. It's super hot out here and getting these things lifted up over my head by myself on the ladder has uh, kind of worn me out. So I'm going to uh, wait a few minutes. I'll see if the sun pops back out here and maybe show you uh, some incoming wattage, see what these panels are making on kind of a cloudy day. But yeah, really good, uh, really good install. Everything went to plan, didn't drop anything. Looks like we're going to be making a lot more power now. So that is good. So I'm just going to hang out for a bit, see if we get a bit more sun and I'll check back in. Well, we ended up running out of daylight and I didn't really get to see uh, what the panels were capable of yesterday. So it's the next day, it's around 11 a.m. and we're making some good power now. We're making 1800 watts, which is pretty good to see at this hour. So the whole reason for this upgrade and taking the solar off of the EG4 mini split was because I don't really have a ton of real estate. I don't wanna put panels on the house just yet. I don't really want them laying out in the yard. So I figured if I could double up my power just on the pergola, I could actually run both of my heat pumps on this one array. So I have the 6000 XP both heat pumps I've got some loads in the house and I figured this was just a better option than having the pergola dedicated just to the EG4 mini split so for now this is going to be my new solar array I'm probably going to add some stuff temporarily out in the back something to play around with but uh, I will be making some more videos on these just on their overall efficiency how much power they can make and you know good sun stuff like that so keep an eye out for that um, got a couple other videos coming pretty soon so definitely hit that subscribe button if you're not already I would really appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video